I'm Rabbi Yitzhak Shachet, Rabbi of the Mill Hill United Synagogue and Chairman of the Rabbinical Council of the United Synagogue. The question for this week is, why is it that we look at our fingers or fingernails when we are lighting the candle and reciting the special blessing during the Havdalah service at the culmination of the Shabbat? The answer to this is rather twofold. In the first instance, what we need to consider is how it was on the Friday, on the sixth day, that man was brought into being in the first instance. Tradition tells us that it was only three and a half hours before Shabbat that Adam and Eve were given the specific instruction not to eat from the tree of knowledge, but as we know, they of course violated this one particular command. As such, God in his mercy chose to keep them in the Garden of Eden over the Shabbat, though of course the ultimate punishment was that thereafter they were immediately sent from the paradise, from the great luminescence, from the brilliance of living in the Garden of Eden. And now as they are cast out on the night of Shabbat into a darkened world, man struggles with how he is going to be able to create light. As a gift, God gave man the ability and the know-how in how to generate his own light, rubbing two sticks together, creating a spark, being able to make fire. We commemorate this and we celebrate this on the night of Shabbat, as Shabbat goes out each week during the Havdalah service, as we separate the Shabbat from the rest of the week, by indeed striking a match and lighting a fire to mark this very gift that was given to man, his own ability to be able to create his own fire. As such, because we're reciting the blessing on the fire, we want to demonstrate how we can immediately benefit from the fire, and we hold our hands up to the fire to show where we can see the difference between our actual skin and our fingernails, and as such, we hold our fingers up to mark this culmination of the mitzvah of the blessing on the actual fire. The other point to consider in this regard is that nails always tend to grow, and we therefore also reflect upon our nails as Shabbat goes out to consider how we ourselves are going to grow over the coming week as well.